well, it's a new day. So instead of having just like a day in the studio, it's going to be like a bunch of disjointed stuff. <laughs> Mom, you might actually have to see this. What? I have actually, like, pretty good handwriting on question three. Look at that. Yeah. It's not bad. You're practicing and you'll get better and better. Actually... Okay, leave Cece alone and go do your math assignment. It's a new day, so instead of having just like a day in the studio, it's gonna be like a bunch of disjointed stuff. <laughs> I've been getting interrupted a lot lately. We're trying to finish fifth grade homeschool and get ready for sixth grade to start, and then he's doing public school for sixth grade. So, yeah, I'm trying to get him caught up. It's chaos, and I hate it, but uh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna survive. Anyway, I worked on this guy yesterday. My my camera battery died, but it's all charged up now, so you should be good to go. I'm going to go outside and I'm going to pick like berries and whatever kind of good stuff I can find out there that needs to be picked up today. And then I'm going to maybe make breakfast or maybe I'm going to paint. I don't know. Who would you trust with yours? I counter. This forces a laugh from deep within her gut. Eyes watering. I take us cases to be boxed up and tied with bubblegum pink ribbon. Mrs. Alba stands behind one of the deli cases. Help. There's nothing I can do. Rose wouldn't be on the pier anyway. Not with Davis strutting around. She's probably back at Heath's house. But I don't know where he lives. Words. And this allure. She paused. It comes from the spells you cast in your sense. Your head making you do this. You need to get her out. Ignore what she's telling you. It's not real. Several yards ahead toward the mouth of the harbor, oh, well, the bell buoy answer. rings against the force of the waves. Wow. An eerie sound that rolls across the water. I need to find her. Single-minded in her hatred for this town. And she won't stop. You can't protect me, I tell him. Just like I can't protect you. Aquarius and Lucid. Morning pressing down, breaking apart the night clouds, and shearing the island terrain in a hue of blush pink. And in the distance, but Heath is not driving it. No, it's Rose. And someone is with She stays locked in there. At least it's better than the boathouse. Back at the house, I make two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for Gigi, wrap them in foil, and grab a blanket from the hall closet. He tries, hoping this will jog her memory. But even if she did remember, she would never confess hidden in the cottage. Her mistake is that she thinks we'll protect her from them, especially with Rose on her side. I don't know why this thing isn't recording as long as it's supposed to, and I guess I'm going to look at the manual and then maybe have to do a factory reset on my camera because it's been doing this for a while and I thought I figured it out, but I guess I didn't, so alright. I am going to try to hurry up and finish my tea and finish this uh, first layer on this painting, and then I'm going to take the rest of the afternoon off so I can like clean my kitchen and take a shower and go swimming so
I won't kill him. I won't take him into the sea and drown him. I don't want that for him. The package slipped from her fingers and broke on the cobblestone street surface and turned to face Bo, who's still asleep. He twitches on the bed and opens his eyes. Somehow, no one seems to suspect that she might be on Lumiere Island, secretly incarcerated in one of the cottages. The shadow of a woman waiting for a husband who won't return. Seeing her out there, alone, her heart... Well, um, pool time got cut short because of a thunderstorm. But I did get to see them. <coughs> My three, it's just Uncle Brad. Tom, myth. Myth. No. So everything's unplugged and I'm just gonna start painting because I remembered my husband has tomorrow off and he can help me clean the kitchen tomorrow, so there you go. But fear for Owen. Tell them, his father barked. Owen stood stone-faced. Ush. She had laughed, her voice bouncing along the eaves of the barn loft, her fingers slipping through rounded sandstone. The name and date carved into the rock have long ago been smoothed away by wind and rain. But I know what it used to say. I know it by heart. Owen Clement died 1823. She calls after me. Our dear sister Aurora has been sprung from her jail in the boathouse. With an infectious attraction that men could not resist. She used them for money and status and power. She and I are the same. We've both lost people we love. Both crushed by this town. 